Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Charmed Life. This is a special episode for New Moon and Prosperity. So if you are listening to this at the time of the new moon or a new moon, the current new moon of which when this is being published, or just any new moon, or if you would like to set a new intention for prosperity, then it is the just right timing for you. And so just as a reminder that the new moon energy can be harnessed for about three and a half days. So it's not just the day of the new moon when we see that it is at that exact new moon day. We have about three and a half days of that phase of the moon. In addition, each of us has their own personal moon cycle. Everybody has their own lunar cycle. Now, of course, women are accustomed to associating with this because of their menses. But whether you are a person who menstruates or not, you have a personal lunar cycle. What's really cool about the person who doesn't have a, a menses, a menstrual cycle, that in order to discern and detect what your personal lunar cycle is inside whatever the global lunar cycle is, what's so cool about it is that you must be very in touch with your energy, be meditative with it. So I will link in the description here um, another video that I did that talks about the phases of the moon when I did the 29 days of lunar phase and did an episode every single day channeling that lunar energy for that day of the phase. And so I, I, I'll link that there and it'll give you a little more information of the lunar cycle. And also as a reminder, it isn't, it isn't optimal or necessary for us to have the same lunar cycle, the same personal lunar cycle as the global lunar cycle. And it, there's nothing better or worse about happening to align with the global lunar cycle, with whatever your personal lunar cycle is. You see, it's like the ripples in a pond. You drop a, a stone, you drop a rock into the pond, and there is a rippling out, and it changes the whole ecosystem in a beautiful way. Well, each ripple is just as important as the one at the very center and the ones on the very outside. And so we are always orienting to our personal lunar cycle as well as the global lunar cycle and kind of like how those two work with one another, the energy you're bringing to what the collective is aligning with and how you're responding to that collective at the same time. So these are different ways that you could use this particular episode. Uh, like I say, it could be for a new moon, the three and a half day of that global lunar cycle. It could be your personal new moon cycle. It could be for any time that you want to set new intentions for prosperity. And so how, what's going to happen with this episode is I'm going to share with you a bit of channeling, two, two portions of channeling. You see, I, I channeled the other day for myself in the morning. And what I did was I used my phone here. That's a picture of KonKon. And I, I tapped on the notes app. And then I just hit the the dictate button, you know, on the keyboard, there's a little microphone and it'll just kind of try to record what it is that you're saying. And so that's what I did. And then today I went back, this was like two, three days ago. And I went back to read it so that I could kind of commit it to my conscious mind because in channel, it's an attunement for myself, but I don't consciously kind of logically know it. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to go and review this. And so as I was reading it, I just got this nudge that it was for more than just me. In addition to that, I had a couple of sessions since then, and I didn't realize it, but there was a lot of there were similarities in what was in alignment for some of those clients and what was in this content. Oh, if you hear my birds talk a little bit, that's because I'm, this is my home studio. <laughs> anyway, so that was another clue that it was not just for me, that it was something that was for many of us. And so, of course, if you're new to this, then you may not realize that I'm a channel. If you are a regular listener or a watcher on the YouTube channel, then you may have even just watched the very previous publication, the previous episode in which I live channeled or I recorded a live channeling for you all. This is going to be a little different. I'm going to read some channeling that I did live and 
I'm doing this as a way to help it to create an attunement in a slightly different manner than when I'm just live channeling it. What this will be is mildly meditative. It should be safe for you to still be driving if that's what you're doing because it's not going to be a full meditative state or a deep meditative state, I should say. It's going to be a light state. And so part of it is to have the hearing with the with the conscious mind, but also to really allow it to go into that subconscious mind. It's a sort of presentation that may work with all parts of the spiritual mind. And of course, the feeling, as Neville Goddard says, feeling is the secret. So the feeling of it will really magnetize it into your being. In addition to that, how I'm actually going to precede that bit of channeling that I'm going to read to you is I'm going to start with a decree that I channeled the other day as well. Now, a decree is a combination of uh, meditation, mantra chant, and affirmations. It's very much like affirmations. It's done in a certain rhythm. And so for some, it actually feels like a spell, you know, like the uh, kind of craft of the spell. The rhythm and the repetition, when we do it with repetition, is a way that can actually help to really activate the frequency within you. So I'm going to do that to set it up. It can help us to move into a more open and receptive state. And the decree portion of it, and by the way, it's called decree because you are calling those frequencies into existence in you. I have that pasted in the description so you can you can look at it and if you are if you pause and then look at that and then actually speak it along at the same time as I deliver it, or if you listen to it back, you know, rewind it and listen to it, know that you can actually read it and be a part of it and utilize your voice. And I have it pasted there so you can copy it and you can have it to keep to do in your own practice. It's a great priming decree as if we are coming out of the world because it's talking about how love is the proper alignment and talks about that frequency of love allowing us to be in the proper state for ourselves. And it's just, to me, it feels like a transition from being kind of in a world where that doesn't totally know that, a conditioned 3D matrix that doesn't really understand that love is the answer and love is the true frequency. And then moving into that love frequency. And with that, let's start to move into it. You'll first hear that decree, and then we'll move into the reading of the channeled message about prosperity and how to call in prosperity, and the purpose of it and the alignment of it. And what I'm going to use as an accompaniment, if you are watching on YouTube, it is some lovely video that is going to be just beautiful and, and a little bit inducing. And if you're listening on the podcast, well, then know that you could go and watch it with the beautiful video that accompanies it. And so I hope you enjoy. I am love, I am light, slow to anger, slow to fight. Love is patient, love is kind, love flows swiftly to my mind. Love always wins, love makes wrong right, for God is love and I'm source light. You ask us to step forward, child. We ask you to do the stepping forward for the how to bring in more prosperity to your life. Simply, live from that which is most joyous to you. From your heart center, from the expression center, from the way that these alchemize and create the wonderful expressions upon this plane. These creations that are made from the heart and the expression are your gold. These are the gold that you give out and immediately attract back, like in kind. As you wrap these in love and you give them in service, they attract back a thousandfold of their value. And each of us in spirit stand around you, giving gold back to you as well. 
And this is literal as well as figurative gold. For we know that the figurative gold, that gold of the heart, that gold of the soul, that energy is so precious to you and is actually your fundamental interest in all you do. It is recognized that the reason that you choose to attract material wealth is so that you can freely have spiritual wealth. We acknowledge, we honor, and we point out to you that you are willing to be one with your brothers and sisters. You are willing to be one with your planet. And we say that you can do this while also having joyous material possessions. Items that will give you the freedom to move from the heart and the expression center. And so yes, we say that in each moment, to the best of your ability, do that which is most joyous to you. And you have the choice to ask for a break in the doing, or a shift of what is being done. You can see how a shift can be either dynamic and acute, or it can be slow and gradual, or something in between. And if you choose to have transition, if you choose to have this without pain and suffering, believe it and it shall be so. It is the material wealth and the spiritual wealth which will guide you to have balance in your incarnation. The walking and being much more in motion. This is your connection to the earth, to your body, to Gaia. This will naturally and easily and joyfully create the physical manifestation that you are calling in. Natural balance will be yours. And all that needs to be done is to begin, is to take the actions. We are here, praying for you, sending you our love, sending you that gold, sending you the inspiration. We will send to you the helpers and the partners, but we ask that you allow. We ask that you allow it to flow. Thanks for tuning in. I love you, whoever you are.